I welcome you all in today's lecture. Yesterday we discussed the recap exercise and different pairs of angles and we also discussed the first two questions of exercise 9.1. Today we are going to discuss the remaining eight questions of exercise 9.1 starting with question number three which is find the angle which is equal to its complement. So let us consider that X be uh, an angle which is equal to its complement. As we know, two angles are said to be complementary when their sum is 90 degree. Therefore, X plus its complement must be equal to 90 degree. Or we can say X plus X equal to 90 degree, which implies 2X equal to 90 degree, or X to equal to 90 degree divided by 2, which gives 45 degree. Therefore, 45 degree angle is equal to its complement. Similar is part B of the same question, which is, find the angle which is supplement of itself you may consider y be the angle which is equal to its sum supplement and we know two angles are said to be supplementary when their sum is 180 degree therefore y plus y must be equal to 180 degree and then you can easily solve this question now let us move to question 4 of the exercise which is uh, write the complements of the following angles and part A of question 4 is 54 degree that means we have to find the angle which is to be added to 54 degree to make it 90 degree so that the sum is 90 degree so it is simple that complement of 54 degree is then 90 minus 54 degree which is equal to 36 degree and in the similar way you can solve the remaining parts of the question there are five parts and you will solve all the five parts of the question or even you can write let x be the angle which is the complement of 54 degree then x plus 54 degree is 90 degree or x equal to 90 degree minus 54 degree which is equal to 36 degree but to make it simpler for you i have directly written the complement of 54 degree is 90 minus 54 degree which is equal to 36 degree moving to question five Question 5 is write the supplements of the following angles and we must know uh, we must remember rather that two angles are said to be supplementary when their sum is 180 degree and part A is 128 degree. So the supplement of 128 degree is 180 degree minus 128 degree when we subtract 128 degree from 180 degree we get 52 degree therefore 52 degree angle is the supplement of 128 degree similarly you can solve the remaining parts of the question dear students let us move now to question 6 which is find the value of values of x in the following figures all the figures are given there if we see part a x and 80 degree they are vertically opposed angles and yesterday we have proved the theorem to prove that vertically opposed angles are equal therefore x must be equal to 80 degree moving to part b it is x and 27 degree they form linear pair of angles because x and 127 degree they are adjacent angles as well as their sum is 180 degree therefore they form linear pair of angles so x plus 127 degree is equal to 180 degree or x equal to 180 degree minus 127 degree which is equal to 53 degree part c of the same question is x plus 60 degree is 90 degree it is shown there therefore x equal to 90 degree minus 60 degree which is equal to 30 degree part d is 15 degree plus x plus 48 degree it is a straight angle then when we add all the three therefore a 15 degree plus x plus 48 degree must be equal to 180 degree or x plus 63 degree is equal to 180 degree because the sum of 15 degree and 48 degree is 63 degree or we can write x equal to 180 degree minus 63 degree which is equal to 117 degree question it is 
to x plus 40 degree and x plus 20 degree form a linear pair of angles so their sum must be equal to 180 degree when we add 2x and x it is equal to 3x when we add 40 degree and 20 degree it is equal to 60 degree that means 3x plus 60 degree is equal to 180 degree or 3x equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree which is equal to 120 degree or x equal to 120 degree divided by 3 which is equal to 40 degree moving to uh, next question question number 7 which is if one of the angles in a pair of supplementary angles is acute then what kind of angle is other we know that two angles are said to be supplementary when their sum is 180 degree so if one of the angles is acute another must be obtuse only then the sum will be 180 degree if both are acute then sum will definitely be less than 180 degree moving to question 8 it is if one angle of a linear pair is right angle then what kind of angle is the other we have a linear pair of angles and one of the angles is a right angle that means sum of two angles is 180 degree and one of the angles is 90 degree we have to find the other angle other angle must be equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree which is equal to 90 degree definitely the other will also be a right angle it is very simple moving to question 9 it is if one angle of a linear pair is obtuse angle then what kind of angle is the other we have a linear pair of angles when we have linear pair of angles their sum will be 180 degree and one of the angles is obtuse so we have to find the other if we add two obtuse angles definitely the sum will be greater than 180 if we add obtuse angle and right angle then again sum will be greater than uh, 180 degree now the only possibility is the other angle must be acute only then it is possible that sum will be 180 degree you can solve it yourself now moving to question 10 which is the last question of the exercise question is are the following angles adjacent to each other give reasons first we have to remember what the adjacent angles are two angles are said to be adjacent if they have common vertex first condition second condition is they have common arm and third condition is they do not overlap or the uncommon arms are on the opposite sides of the common arm if we see part a angles x and y have common vertex as o common arm as op and uncommon arms oa and ob are on the opposite sides of the common arm op therefore it clearly x and y are adjacent in part a going to part b x and y have common vertex as o but they don't have any common arm so they are not adjacent so we completed the exercise 9.1 hope you might have understood each and every question have a nice day ahead thank you for patiently listening